Hello friend, this is Abhishek Agrawal here and it is a complete tutorial series for design and simulation of thread hex screw and nut in Katia V5. So in the first tutorial we have completed with the thread hex screw and today we will proceed with the hex nut as you can see on my screen. So quickly go to start mechanical design part design name the part as threaded hex nut and click ok. Once again we will select a xy plane over here go to sketch uh, we need to create a hexagonal profile and give a length of 6 mm to each side so here is our hexagonal profile now exit from this sketch and give it a pad command with a 3 mm each side so here we are completed with the hexagonal block now uh, today we will use a union trim command to make a chamfer profile over its surface as well as we will use a hole command uh, to create a threaded hole with a required diameter so select this particular plane over here go to sketch first of all we'll proceed with the uh, chamfer cut over the head so for that we need to create a circle over here which will be tangent to our hexagon so make this tangent exit from the sketch select a yz plane over here go to sketch project this particular circle on the yz plane and make it dotted now we need to create one more line and make this line as a solid line and this line would be at an angle of 30 degree from the horizontal so make this angle 30 degree now all the steps that I am doing is to locate another point from which I can create one more circle uh, you'll um, quickly get me if you follow my tutorial so now uh, project this line and it is all other unwanted parts like this so here we are we got our point uh, which is right here uh, to create one more circle I'll quickly show you how so exit from this sketch uh, go to plane definition create a plane at this point select a parallel through point over here and the, our reference would be xy plane so the plane would be parallel to xy as we required so select this particular plane and go to sketch now we need to create one more circle with the same concentric center and make this coincide with the hexagon block so make it coincide now exit from this sketch now we will use a multi section solid command so select a multi section solid and select the second entity as this one you need to be very careful while using a multi section solid command as the closing point should be in the same directions as you can see here so quickly click ok and here we are with the multi section solid profile now what we need to do we need to trim these two profile to get a required cut so for that what we will do we will create one more body from here and we will transfer the multi section solid from body 1 to body 2 so now this will be two separate bodies now we need to double click on body so that body gets activated now quickly go to a boolean operations and select a union trim option over here uh, select the multi section solid so the faces to remove would be uh, these faces so select select all six faces and the faces to keep would be uh, these six faces click on ok and here you can see the chamfer profile over its head so it is the one more method to create the chamfer profile the one which I have explained in my first tutorial and here is the second one now we need to create a thread hex screw for that we will use a hole command over here so select this particular plane over here and select a hole command go to thread definition check this checkbox uh, give the thread diameter as 6 mm and the hole diameter as 5.8 so that we will have a cut of 0 0.1 each side now we need to position our sketch so quickly go to position sketch and make this point and this particular plane coincide 
and this particular point and this plane also needs to be coincide so make it coincide so that our whole center will be at the origin now exit from the sketch and click ok so here we are completed with the thread hole also uh, so this is it for this particular tutorial um, in the next tutorial i will quickly show you how to simulate the thread hex screw and nut in katia v5 so till then thank you very much uh, in case of any query clarification or any suggestions please feel free to comment below and if you like my video please subscribe it so that i, I will be encouraged to make more and more videos to learn katia v5 and you can also write to me at abhishek.a32 at thread of gmail.com so till then stay tuned